I think I'll take care of this one. Go for it. Um, what are your current go-to... Mother, I don't know why that... Had, anyway. Motherboard brands for stability and reliability. I wish I could say that there was a brand that was always reliable and stable and the best go-to brand. I don't have a go-to brand for motherboards. Uh, it could be that for AM5, Gigabyte's the best. It could be that for AM4, MSI's the best. Uh, it could be for LJ1700 that ASUS is the best. Uh, and it could even be that certain models at certain price points are the best. Uh, so it's a tough one. Like B450, uh, actually, yeah, B450 MSI was very good. B550, everyone was quite good. It, it really, it depends. It uh, depends. Whenever buying a motherboard, you really do have to do a lot of research. I think more recently with more car the, the current platforms board manufacturers are definitely doing a better job because there has been a bit more scrutiny placed on things like vr and performance and features and stability and all that kind of stuff so yeah generally speaking but then you know we saw the asus i wasn't impressed with the asus boards on am5 uh i pretty much what's the word i can use um, didn't have nice things to say about their X670 uh, or B650, especially the more entry-level boards. And then it turned out they had the voltage issues that were causing some chips to melt. And that could have been a potential or potentially could have been a problem on a range of different boards, but it was more prevalent with Asus boards. Anyway, as I said, do your research. Don't just go, oh, I bought a gigabyte board last time. It was really good. So I'm going to buy a gigabyte a gigabyte board again because you could be buying the absolute worst board for that platform mm -hmm. um so you just have to research 